Hello YouTubers, today I would like to show you a video about this desoldering station which I've got over here. So basically I've got a recently question about this station, how well it's working over a year of use. So actually I want to make a video about this but I was waiting to get some spare part because I was basically finally managed to kill this station and basically I'm talking about this desoldering gun and about this piece of equipment so I've got the replacement and this is a new one this is a upgraded one which is made from glass not from a plastic and I've got a spare tips in different size so let's talk about so how does well it work over a year so basically first of all I have to tell you how much I'm using this this device because if you don't know that basically you don't know anything so I'm using this device about one hour per week for over a year and I do not have any problems how often does it clog so basically about five times in this over a year i managed to clog this device so basically when i was managed to clog this when i was using a low temp setting because i was desoldering uh, expensive ic I, I don't want to overheat it so i set the low temp and when I set a low temp, it was not enough to melt the solder inside and it basically stuck inside. I believe it was non a uh, restriction of hazardous substances solder. So this is, was no uh, PB solder. So it, it required a higher temp. So basically when it clogs, inside a barrel what I'm doing I'm setting the temp for the maximum possible I hit the suction and you guide this inside and you doing like this second time inside was uh, sucked some kind of metal I think it was a leftover of a pad or it was a some part of a leg of the component so I clip the component from top and I just want to suck the solder and the leg stuck inside so I had to clean this piece of equipment so basically over uh, this year of use five times maximum <coughs> So hi, how often does it clog? Do you need to clean this device? So basically cleaning this device is a very not nice thing. Oh no, no, no. Let's first talk about how I managed to destroy this. So basically I did a stupid thing because I was working on a power inverter which have a very large traces like like my finger and that was a lot of solder to get over 100 amps and it was not enough to melt this solder so i did a stupid thing i grabbed my heat gun and i start melting the solder and i start sucking the melted solder so what happened i managed to fill this with hot solder and burn a hole inside so if you're going to use this properly it won't happen it was happened just by me because i did a stupid thing so what i managed to do i buy just a spare one the soldering gun with a new glass type so i'm going to talk about this one because if you're going to buy with this one type 
I do not recommend you this one because it's very bad. So how does it look? So that's how it looks. There is a filter inside. You put machine filter looks like this one. It's made from cotton. You just put this inside and if I open this I'm not sure if I so basically this is a very bad design so that's how it looks like there is a cotton filter inside as you can see there is a lot of solder and basically first of all you can't clean this through hole you can't because there is a I'm going to remove this. Uh, you see this plastic thing inside. You can't basically grab a cotton pad and just swipe inside because it's going to start. So cleaning this one from flux is not nice. I'm going to show you the new one because I'm using this from Some time so here how looks the new one as you can see the new one is from glass and you can basically put a cotton pad over here and just put inside something and you can clean this very well so and this is made from glass so no solder can melt through this one so I really recommend you this one so basically another thing so this is the first part so basically it can melt it's hard to clean I do not recommend you this one second thing this spring this spring is absolutely terrible thing for cleaning as you can see it's clean but as you can see it's damaged in couple of part because solder stuck so hard and you're trying to pull this trying to pull this and sometimes as you can see it does not go back as it should so i find a way of cleaning this i basically grab like this i grab my heat gun I hit this guy yeah, and when the solder melt I then do like that and the solder which is stuck to this very hard that you can't move this melt and then you can clean this up so it's it's quite problematic in cleaning so if you're going to buy this this heat heat gun just make sure you've got a new one with this glass tube this one i do not recommend this one with glass one i absolutely recommend it's proper so it's amazing i very recommend you so let's see how to fix this one so basically you've got your rubber seal i'm going to replace it which one does it goes over here I have to check on this gun okay so we've got this part over here This part over there. Okay, like that one. Here we've got our seal. So it looks like we have to change that seal for a new one. It looks like it should go that way. 
Okay, now they are all look the same. Okay. So this is how it looks when it's used. It's a very good, very easy to clean. So what you've got inside you've got your your head which looks like this as you can see looks like this then you've got your spring and as you can see this spring is very easy to clean it's a very large you can basically take this apart make a good cleaning just take this back like that then you use this metal piece which prevent from burning the cotton pad like this as you can see so the hot solder does not go directly into a heating pad and right now you can go and connect this together like that and basically what we done we fix the old one so there was a question how often did I replace the heating element so on my use I did not replace a heating element at all so this new one I'm using about a month so yeah o over a year of use I didn't replace the heating element and I'm pretty sure that it will stay stay working so let's check if it's working I'm not sure if I have 